So boys and girls, it's Monday the 11th of March. I'm your host Thomas Adams and this is the Game Zone News Recap. With all the hate flying around about SimCity 5, it's time to hear some lovely news. Now I hope you did not expect this news to be that good, unless of course you count this as awesome news. We've recently reduced SimCity's crashes by 92% from day one. Now Max has said this and yes, it isn't really the most amazing news. That's 92% man, you shouldn't actually have that many crashes on day one. Whatever the case, we know what people are like they swarm things and it overloads so we just we're just going to throw that over there now the really awesome news is a bit of wisdom that ea have shared with us most recently they have no intentions of creating an offline version of SimCity in a patch or anything like that regardless to the fact there are 60,000 signatures on an online petition that's constant raging via blogs youtube forums reddit you name it now i really do not understand what they expect to happen because after all piracy will catch up and people are either going to download this game for free or they just won't buy it but at the end of the day maybe ea are looking for an excuse for poor sales of this game if there is if it does have poor sales which i don't think it does at the moment because obviously there's a lot of hate i think everyone bought it on impulse and then it just didn't really work very well so whatever the case they will probably go ahead and blame piracy once it catches up and cracks this game I just, I just, I just wish EA would listen to what people say. Not everyone tells them that they are horrible. Some people try and offer good, solid advice, but they're just, as usual, big people never listen to the small guys and they will ultimately pay for this decision. So let's head into some real news and the following stories are all gonna be lovely news. Defiance, which is Trion World's strange upcoming MMO that will be running a TV series alongside of its video game and they will interact with each other, has a brand new gun mod trailer that will be showing us all of the customization options within this oh, just it's just, just a crazily ambitious game it really is now this game is of course due out april 2nd and i really have no idea how crazy and how well just how successful running a game alongside with a tv show and allowing them to interact so for example if you make a choice and if all the players make a choice within the game it will actually affect the show on tv man i only i just I just hope it can succeed because this kind of interactivity is something we need. It's very innovative, to be honest. It's been a long time since we've spoken about Blizzard, so let's change that with patch 5.2 of the mega old World of Warcraft that will hopefully balance classes and more. With this patch, you will have quite a few changes that have no date created an immense amount of chaos within the forums because someone's favorite overpowered class is probably being brought down back to reality. So let us know in the comments if you actually still play World of Warcraft because I had previously played it for six years, which is a long bloody time, and actually have quit nine months ago for the actual do you know what game i quit for i actually quit for guild wars 2 because not only is it free to play but it's just more casual i can play it and play other games whereas for a while i felt i always had to log in and, and always do something but whatever the case let us know in the comments if you actually still play well or if you have quit why it would appear that Gearbox is still not finished with providing awesome content for Borderlands 2 because last weekend they released a sneaky trailer during the South by Southwest festival that shows us a new character that seems to be exploding people by punching them. So could this be a new character that is entirely melee? I have no idea and I cannot wait to see more. No Monday is complete without this week's upcoming games. Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 will be due out tomorrow, March 12th, and should definitely satisfy all of your sniper needs. StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm is also due out tomorrow and should hopefully provide a much needed boost for the slowly dying eSport. And God of War Ascension is also due out tomorrow. There is a lot of games due out. Now, of course, God of War Ascension is a PS3 exclusive. And lastly, the controversial Dead Space 3 will have its first DLC titled Awakened, which is yet again also due out tomorrow now if you're in europe some of these games will come out at different times the last thing i want to mention could well be the coolest thing ever myself and game zone will be starting to review pc accessories such as mice keyboards headsets and so forth so if you've ever wanted everything all in one location then www.gamezone.com is definitely the place for you now remember that you can of course check out the latest news on www.gamezone.com i have been your host thomas adams who is yes yeah, i do have a sexy voice i am not shy about it and this has been the news recap